Okay, so people often call the optimal resource allocation brought about by the freedom struggle, God's invisible hand. Uh, I wonder what I should do after I get home today. I don't have work or club activities to participate in. Okay, that's all for today's lecture. <sighs> I'm tired. Oh yeah, wasn't the new release for Pikmin today? I'll just eat and play games once I get home. Hey! How dare you try to get with my woman, huh? Uh, it's a misunderstanding. I mean, it's not a complete misunderstanding, but I really didn't know. Huh? Are they fighting? Wait, isn't that... If you could get away with saying I didn't know, we wouldn't need police in this world. Uh, that really hurts. Never come near my women again. Keita-san, what are you doing? Oh, Mikamichi. I was giving this girl gifts and flirting with her because she said she didn't have a boyfriend. Oh, but gosh, she actually had a scary boyfriend. I can't believe it. That's usually how boys get fooled by crazy girls. Keita-san, weren't you just in debt because a different woman tricked you? Oh, relationships are so bothersome, and they only bring trouble. You should just quit trying to look for one. I can't do that. If you take away romantic relationships from me, I won't have anything left in my life. Besides, I have a big dream to live a wholesome life with my cute wife and daughter. Ah, oh, there's nothing good about marriage anyways. My name is Mikami. I'm a man that prioritizes independence over having three meals provided for me by a wife. Listen to me, Keita-san. You lose time, you lose money, and all you get in return is more responsibilities. $5,000 for an engagement ring, $30,000 for a wedding, and $250,000 per every kid you have. Keita-san... Do you have money to pay for that? Huh? You can buy whatever you want to eat after school or work. Then eat that while watching any show you want to watch on TV. After you eat, you can play games for however long you want, then go to bed. I love that kind of life from the bottom of my heart. Marriage? Kids? <laughs> I don't need that in my life. If I have a kid, I won't have time for myself anymore. I'll have to give up weekends and holidays for the kids. That's basically like working on my free days, too. That's a big no from me. But if people don't have kids, the birth rate will decline while the population ages, and the social structure will get messed up. They should make a system where people can make kids whenever they want. Huh? What is this news? Artificial reproduction without relying on men? The next day... Hey, did you guys see the news about artificial reproduction? Apparently, it's going to be a normal procedure in about six months. You don't need a partner to make kids. That's a strange idea. I feel like it's efficient and good. People who want kids can have them without having to get married. Besides, the system of marriage is irrational and incomprehensible. Ah, uh, Mikami's talking about something hard to understand again. I still want to get married to someone I love and give birth to a child with them. I get how you feel. I feel like there's a still a lot of prejudice against single mothers, too. I thought that artificial reproduction was the greatest invention of the century. But it wasn't as easily accepted by society as I thought it would be. It became a procedure that was only performed by a small group of the population. However, ten years after the introduction of this procedure, an event that made artificial reproduction appear on the news again occurred. Hey, did you see the news? There was a genius child actor that was born through artificial reproduction. I saw that. He's super good looking and excels in both academic and sports. He's flawless. Plus, I heard his mom is unimaginably normal. Right? But if she can give birth to an angel like that, she basically wins in life, right? Right. She sees this angel when she gets home? Ah, I wish I could give birth to a kid like that. Ugh. <laughs> Hey, I saw the news too! Females can choose a sperm so they can give birth to their ideal child. Apparently, people are super satisfied with parenting as a result. Of course, they can choose their children's looks, but there are also options like kids without colic or those that aren't picky eaters. They can genetically modify those fine details too. I heard that the government gives quite the financial support for it too. I guess there are fewer and fewer pros to getting married now. <laughs> Honestly. Y Yuriko-chan, what do you think about marriage? Hmm, I wanted to get married when I was young, but I'm starting to think that artificial reproduction isn't all that bad either. I, uh, I see. Huh, Yuki-kun, weren't you uninterested in marriage too? Uh, yeah, I mean, 
It also depends on whether I find the right person too. <laughs> I obviously can't tell her that I'm thinking about proposing and that I'm currently looking for an engagement ring. But, I mean, we've been dating for three years, so it's not weird, right? A few more years after that, even though I used to hate marriage in the past, I began to want a married life. At that time, artificial reproduction became a popular option in society. As for me... I thought about it, but I can't give birth to your child. There's no merit in doing so. When I want a child, I'll do so with artificial reproduction so I can give birth to my ideal kid. Huh? Wait! What about a happy and loving family? Doesn't the kid need a father? Uh, I'm sure that a kid you make with me will be adorable too. <sighs> I can make my ideal child using artificial reproduction. Why do I need to give birth to your child? Besides, having to live with someone after I get married is only going to be stressful. Sorry, but if you want to get married and raise a family, you should look for someone else. What? Wait, don't leave! I dated my girlfriend because I liked the fact that she was rational. In the end, she ended up dumping me for a very rational reason. <sighs> so basically, my genetics aren't ideal. I mean, I guess she's not wrong. <sighs> There's no way that an artificial person can win against a normal person when everything from their face to their personality can be customized. But still, she said she doesn't want her child to have my genetics. Did the five years we were together even mean anything? <laughs> There's nothing you can do about that. There's a bunch of men nowadays that get dumped for the same reason. A happy marriage is a happy family. That idea is basically old-fashioned at this point. Old-fashioned? By the time I was in my 40s... Nice to meet you all. My name is Yukihira. A child born from artificial reproduction was hired into our company for the first time. I felt bad for thinking this, but I was imagining it to be something like working with an alien. Mikami-san! I got Company A to sign a contract! Please review the contract for me! Uh, oh, Yukihira, that's great for someone that just started working here. I'm going to do everything I can to become helpful to this company as soon as I possibly can! <sighs> what the hell? He's already the highest performing salesman in this department. Yukihira was basically a good kid. Actually, not just good. He was an extremely talented and amazing kid. The children born from artificial reproduction became a familiar presence in our lives. These kids excelled in entertainment, in sports, and in basically every other industry. The popularity of artificial reproduction increased even further. I'm probably going to die lonely, while these artificially reproduced kids beat me at everything. Oh, that's scary. Maybe I should start looking for a wife while I can still reproduce. Excuse me, I want to get married. Oh, sorry, but can I ask how old you are first? 42 years old. Your occupation? Um, management of the sales department in a tech company. Nothing special about you, huh? Uh, she's not very friendly. What are your conditions for a marriage partner? If possible, I'd like someone from 25 to their early 30s. Also, someone who hasn't been married in the past. Oh, and as for children, I'd prefer to have my own instead of an artificially reproduced one. Your own child? You should probably think that idea over after you take a look at yourself. Even without artificial reproduction, the ladies in our program are only interested in men with high qualities. I don't think we have females that will choose you. But I want my children with my own blood! If you say so, I'll register you. But the registration fee costs $3,000. $3,000? Is that expensive? I mean, you want your own children, right? If you don't pay the additional prices, I'm pretty sure that we won't even be able to set up a meeting date. Oh, okay, okay. I'll use my card. What kind of generation is this? Still, there were a few females who signed up at marriage agencies to find marriage with real love. Yet. Uh, the ten ladies that you said you were interested in all said no. Well, why? Would you like me to read you their reasons? What? His qualifications aren't even high, but he keeps asking for so much. It's so annoying. I'd rather use artificial reproduction than having this man's kids. Uh, thank you. That's enough. Just like that, I never found anyone to get married to. And became an 80-year-old man. It's Christmas Day, but there isn't a single couple walking around in the streets. In the past, there were so many couples acting lovey-dovey on this day that people even considered it a bother. 
Mommy, look, look, I did a bar flip. Wow, Allie Coon, you're amazing. Mommy, I want to eat stew when we go home. Of course, sweetie. Mommy's gonna make you delicious stew, okay? When I was young, I would look at adults taking care of children and think, oh, they must be unfortunate to not have any time for themselves. But maybe thinking that being independent is a blessing is possible only because you have the option of not being alone. Maybe if I stood up against artificial reproduction when it was first regulated, I would have been able to walk in a park hand in hand with my own child right now. If only artificial reproduction didn't exist. Mm -hmm. Mikamichi! Mikamichi! What's wrong? You're zoning out! The, what? Keita-san? You were mumbling something weird earlier. Where am I? There on my phone, a video on news about artificial reproduction was playing. Couples? Families with children? Oh wow, what a wonderful sight! Ah, huh? Mikamichi? Love is filling the streets. It's a beautiful sight. Mikamichi? What's up with you? I see it now. It seems as though I came back in time when I was still a student. When news about artificial reproduction was first released. Mikamichi? Do you have any friends that might be interested in a matchmaking event? We're having one today, but one of the guys cancelled and we need someone to fill a spot. Um, is it okay if I join that matchmaking event? Huh? Of course! You seem super different today. Are you interested in being in a relationship? Yes. Just like you, Keita-san. I'm going to do what I can to get a pretty wife and daughter. Yay! Looking for more interesting stories and videos? Then come check out other videos from Mani Mani People here. We'd love to hear your thoughts, too. Drop a line in the comments below. See you soon!